welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today is it's going to be a favorite video of mine i'm going into b and i'm going to do a bit of like bargain shopping i do need to pick up some like boring householdy items but i thought you know what why not bring you guys along with me i have stocked up for the road i've got myself a coffee um our local supermarket booths if ever you've heard of it i think it's a northern thing they do free coffee for customers and they have pumpkin spice latte pumpkin spice syrup to make a pumpkin spice latte so this makes me very happy before i get started and take you guys shopping into b&m with me i did want to firstly thank squarespace for very kindly sponsoring this video if you don't already know squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help users design and build their very own website so if you're looking to create and build your own website whether it be a fashion blog or a travel blog or maybe you are a videographer photographer you want to create your own online portfolio portfolio uh, whether or not you know you want to set up your own online shop whatever it may be that you are wanting to design Squarespace helps users do so by having a wide range of templates for you to choose from to get started on building your very own website if you think that's something that would interest you I will leave a link in the description box so you can click through to their website find out more and I'll also leave a discount code for you to get money off your first purchase should you wish to go ahead and do so after your free trial I really like the fact that they have the free trial element so you can have a play around set it up but then before setting your website live and making the purchase you know you can see how it works and everything like that what it's going to look like before you purchase which I think is great so yeah thank you to Squarespace for kindly collaborating with me on this video and now without further ado I'm going to fuel up on my pumpkin spice latte and get shopping okay ready to go in it's not the biggest B&M but it is next to Poundland, so who knows, we might have a quick browse in both. Of course, I'm getting a trolley. Okay, our B&M always starts with food, which is a little bit annoying, because um, I tend to bypass it, although this is definitely going to be my first choice of advent calendar this year. I feel like B&M have good ideas for like stocking fillers or gifts, so let me know if you'd want like a Christmas gift guide B&M version or B&M style in november i feel like that's when i want to do all my christmasy content gift guides and everything like that oh these are cheaper in poundland you get loads more for a pound and these are one pound 19 but i do bloody love lotus biscoff i feel like this pumpkin spice latte needs that but never mind hashtag being healthy kind of because it's not really the healthiest but oh well let's move on oh Speaking of syrups, I didn't realise they had syrups here. Caramel and salted caramel looks like the only flavours they have. Um, but I'm pretty sure these guys do a pumpkin spice flavour syrup. So we'll keep my eyes out for that in future. Has anyone tried these white ones yet? My verdict is the original ones are better, but they're okay. Oh wait, hang on. I think maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, these ones are extra large biscuits. That's how big they are. Mr. Kipling do really yummy, like, special edition on festive kind of times. These ones are obviously Christmassy, but they have fiendish fancies, and I haven't seen them at all this year yet, which is very disappointing. Maybe I'm just lo not looking properly. But look, they've got these Christmassy ones, mince pies already. But where are the... and those ones as well. They don't seem to have any of the Halloween-y type ones. This is new. I've not seen a pick -a mix station here before. Well, for me, it just screams Woolworths. Who is a 90s kid that grew up with Woolworths pick -a mix Oh my God, they were literally the best times ever. Maybe not ever, that's a bit dramatic, but um, yeah, pick -a mix I used to always get treated with a pick -a mix from Woolworths after I've been to the dentist. <laughs> How ironic. Why am I doing this to myself? I'm walking down at the treat section. These are my fave, the white chocolate Reese's ones. Just keep walking. I want to be good for now, so that over Christmas, I can indulge guilt-free. You know, it's all about balance. A good little idea for, maybe not a stocking filler, because they're quite big, but a, a present. These chocolatey melts I've actually not tried yet, but really want to. And they come with a Christmas mug, how cute, £3.49. Who'd have thought that the cleaning aisle would become one of my favourites? But thanks to Mrs Hinch, it now is. 
What do I spot here? Cozy apple and cinnamon. I already have this one, that one's really nice, the vanilla latte, and I have that one as well actually. Oud Desire is quite masculine, but this could be good for a Christmas speed clean maybe? Has anyone tried the Unstoppables candle? Mm. I do need some actual Lenore Unstoppables, but I don't know if the candle's quite the same. Here we go, and the fact that they're on offer is ideal because these can get quite pricey. I'm gonna pick up the Lavish because they are my favorite scent. Oh, hang on a minute, it's just the Active that's on sale. But these are $3.99 anyway. Okay, I'm just gonna grab these. Even though I don't have a tumble dryer, these tumble dryer sheets are really good for like putting in your cushions on your sofa or in your pillows or duvet, they smell really good. I think I'm gonna get another mandarin and lime because this is one of my favorite scents, that's a Flora Do. And they say limited edition, who knows if they actually will stop it, but I do really like this one, so I'm just gonna stock up on another one. They've not got them at this B&M, but I've spotted in Home Bargains. They now have the uh, Christmassy range of Fabulosa and the Halloween range, so I have recently picked up a couple. Pumpkin Spice one is my favourite. Um, but, little comparison, I do still think I prefer Zaflora. I think it's a stronger scent. I thought this was a Halloween um, doormat then, Welcome to the Dark Side, but it's not. It's obviously just Star Wars, but they do have Batman as well. I see Christmas cozy socks. And oh my God, they have a little reindeer on, how cute. Three pack, $3.99. I like the Primark ones, they're £1.80 for two packs. Here are all the Christmassy gift sets. I'll just do like a slow pan of them all. All the advent calendar, beauty advent calendar. Oh, I didn't know Revolution were bringing out one. I do really like their makeup. Oh, it's a lip advent calendar. 15 pounds, RRP 40. That's a pretty good discount. And they have some makeup brushes. These are like the Spectrum ones. They look a little bit like them. Did anyone see Spectrum Beauty on um, The Apprentice this year? Oh, actually they look even more so like it, like the unicorn style. I've like bypassed a few aisles just to get here because oh, I just couldn't wait any longer. All the treats on this side, which again, for now I'm just bypassing, but you can, Bet I will be coming back for things like this. Festive, unnecessary, but cute, so definitely coming back for it. <laughs> Just not yet. They look nice as well. Snowy fingers. I would definitely recommend these create your own hampers. $5.99 they are, and they're just a really nice way to sort of build and personalize a, um, a gift for someone, for the person that has everything. I did a Hinch hamper for one of my friends for her birthday. I think that's a cute idea for any other Hinches out there or women that like householdy kind of things like candles and cleaning products. Ooh, coffee topper gift set. Vanilla sugar, cinnamon powder, chocolate sprinkles and cocoa powder, 2 dollars And then they have the syrups as well. I've not seen eggnog before. They have this pre-lit garland at $14.99. I'd like to see it out the box actually. But I I kind of want to check out home scents first for that kind of thing. I'm definitely going for a white, gold and brown woodland kind of theme again this year. $6.99 for a, a deer. <laughs> so unnecessary but things like that that aren't necessarily just for the tree. I want to find more bits like this and also Home Bargains have a really big one that I like the look of for £7 I think it was. I'm also thinking about maybe getting some bits like this to put on door handles. Um, you know, like not necessarily for tree decoration but to decorate the rest of the house. These are cute, they're little Christmas mugs. I also love clear and glass baubles. I think they're very like white company, very minimal. I feel like I really like that look, but for a second tree, if we had a house big enough for like a second tree, maybe a twig tree, that's the sort of bauble I would go for. Oh, these are nice, white and gold. 2.99. Oh my God, how funny are these? I feel like if you've got cats and dogs, muggle box, cat selfies, doggle box. Oh, 
so cute. I like these gold ones too, actually, 2 99 They are ones that I might come back for. What the hell? A guy literally just walked past me twice and each time he passed me, he farted. I really don't like that. I'm like running away from him. Anyway, <laughs> this is a cute, very anthropology with the initials. They've got them in pink and green as well as the grey, although mine's the most neutral with F, obviously. Like very girly, feminine, pinks, golds. This is beautiful. I've spotted this before in the past and been very tempted to get it. $9.99, that's so affordable. You could put a little terrarium in there or candle. And they have little tea light holders. I actually quite like the striped one. That's my favorite one. I feel like these wooden hanging hearts are quite festive. You could definitely put them out Christmas time. Dream catcher. Yeah, I just feel like it's very pretty, very girly. And if you do particularly like the pinks in your color scheme, then it's a really nice collection to have a look at. I really like that one as well. Little candle holder. And then they have like a botanicals, tropical range of products as well, which again, very nice. Oh, that's a nice, pretty color. It's like an amber glass type color. Then they have these terrariums. I always like the faux terrariums because you don't have to water them or anything. Just forget about them, ignore them. Julie on my one. And then these bowls, I spotted these before, four pounds. I feel like these are very white company. I know I always compare it to the white company. That is honestly what I look out for when I shop homeware. I feel like if I could see that in white company, which this one I definitely could, then that is so my style. Even that, two pounds, little tea light holder. Minimal, neutral, love it. I love things like this, but I just never have any space for it two pound for little trinket trays pretty little things you could put like your keys or jewelry on this oh and then they've got alphabet trinket dishes as well anything with like letters on i always think is like anthropology because they're known for their initial mugs at christmas they bring out a new one every year i'm pretty sure that's right this is quite pretty and reasonably priced at four pound I feel like the best for fake plants is actually the range. I also like home scents, but uh, we don't have too many fake flowers. But I'm more of a plant kind of person, so I love that. Five pound. This is actually pretty good. It's been reduced to 15 pounds. And it's a cheese plant or monstera. I think that's what they're called anyway. Pretty reasonable size. I think that's pretty good quality for a fake as well. But other than that, I would go to the range probably. They have the initial coasters too. That is what F looks like. I quite like the little Aztec print in there. £1.49. You could get one for like each member of your family for Christmas. That would be a nice idea. Does anyone else find it as frustrating as I do when you find a scent that you think you'll love from Yankee Candle? We just don't like the colour. They have quite um, a lot of new candles in with these like minimal designs. Again, very neutral and kind of designer inspired, I would say. So they have those ones and they have these ones over here which look like Jo Malone dupes. And they're even scented the same. Mandarin, Lime and Basil, Blackberry and Bay, Pomegranate. They have the Reed Diffusers, Room Sprays and then these ones are like the Woodwick. Um, shapes which are kind of similar prices to yankee candle i think they're the same company i don't know if that's right or not but woodwick is usually in yankee candle stores but for quite a bit more than eight pounds these are so cheap for king size 15 pounds for the teddy fleece i'm just not a fan of the gray but if it was in beige i probably would have bought that and they also have it in mustard and also this pinky kind of color oh and they've got nordic fleece duvet set as well with like a paisley kind of print on it very festive and some with reindeers on and stars and snowflakes this is so soft thermal lined i'm not really sure what that means exactly but 15 pounds again very reasonable so so soft new improved quality they do feel nice but i don't know if they're that much more improved the faux fair range 9.99 for these sort of cushions I actually have a set like this. They are very cosy, 
for eight pounds pretty good and then they become they become they come in children's sizes as well so you could be matching imagine the christmas pictures christmas morning so cute or they have home alone ones is it true they're making a new home alone movie i'm not sure if i've just made that up or not but i'm pretty sure they are um one from elf and of course the grinch Okay, whilst we're here, it'd be rude not to. Let's just have a quick look in Poundland. So many. Oh, I thought they were gonna have the fondant fancies then. No, what they're called? Fiendish fancies, sorry, not them. I'm not actually a fan of those as much. Some more Halloween bits. I did a whole Poundland Halloween DIY video where I did loads of like DIY pumpkins and things. They have loads more new in bits actually. They must just put them in last minute in Poundland. Those lace bunny ears would be cute if you're doing like a Halloween look for a night out. And they've got these cat ears as well. But I just don't tend to go out anymore, so probably not for me. I cleared the shelf of these white boo ones, but they've obviously restocked because I literally took all of them. I also really like this sign. I feel like it'd be nice on the front door. I might get that. I love this to-do list, how funny. Stuff I should probably do, boo Monday, not another Tuesday, hump day Wednesday, nearly there Thursday. Yay, it's Friday, yay, and then glorious weekend. They have some quite like rude, funny bits, which you could probably get for like fun, novelty Christmas gifts. Uh, I don't know how it go down in my family, but I do think they're quite funny. And they've got these scented candles, which again, I love the look of them. I like the gold and white, but I just don't like alcohol, so I don't want a candle smelling of it either. Like, this is what I mean. What the hell? <laughs> oh, Poundland. I swear they've had this Christmassy kind of themed, like, plates and cups and everything for the last three years. I feel like they're due a refresh, although I don't remember seeing these mugs walking in a winter wonderland. If you like the full on tacky themed Christmas tree, then, oh my God, Poundland is probably for you. I feel like Zoe Sug has a tacky tree that she likes to put like hot dogs and stuff on, which I think is pretty funny, but if you have the space for about five trees, but we definitely don't in our house. I feel like this is my kind of book. I'm after some new books for when we go to South Africa actually, so. Any recommendations on like true stories or crime? I love that kind of thing. Oh, they've got cozy socks here as well. This is one of the best moisturizers I've ever used and it's literally a pound. It's the Nivea Soft. They do have a couple of other Nivea ones, but the Soft is so good. Oh, they have Batiste dry shampoo at a pound. That is like the cheapest I've ever seen it, but it is for brunettes, that one, so not for me. Is it bad that I want to get this just for the packaging? Let's be honest, it's just kitchen roll. But it has pumpkins on it. <gasps> oh God, oh I'll get it, I'll get it, why not? I've seen Mr. Karen talk about this mirror on his channel. They also have this square one which I've not seen before. Um, I actually really like this one. I have the Home Bargains one which was $5.99 which is a, it is bigger, um, but it's not as wide as that. And I have it in my garden. I think it's a nice mirror for the garden. In case you are interested, these are the leather chamois things, cloths that I get for the pumpkins, the DIY pumpkins I did in my last Poundland haul. I swear this Poundland has the worst choice of mugs. That's it. I feel like Poundland could definitely get on board with like autumnal mugs and seasonal mugs, but I'm sorry. That is just not fun for me. I need pumpkins on there, not sunflowers. Oh, and then if you saw my Zara haul I did recently, I shopped Zara home and got some incense so this is the incense holder I bought to go with my Zara incense sticks they do usually have incense sticks but they're obviously all sold out which is a shame but um yeah that is oh I've just seen that patterned one at the back I've not seen that one before I feel like there's nothing really that new in here um but that is quite nice for Christmas time little candle holder but yeah nothing really that new nothing that i'm spotting anyway that's quite cute a little tea light holder or jewelry holder or something always love the stationery or at least having a look in the stationery section because they have some quite pretty bits actually like how pretty is that lilac color and they've got it in pastel blue and pink as well rose gold 
If you like the tongue-in-cheek humour that Poundland do as well, they have some of their cards are quite funny. <laughs> Popped into Asda to get myself a couple of pumpkins and look what I found. Mr. Kipling's Fiendish, Fiendish Fancies. These are what I was talking about. They're so good. And then this is £3 and this one is £1.50. I thought I'd just have a quick look at the vases that they have as well, but they're actually not the best selection. It might not show up on camera, but these are very small. Uh, but they do have some Christmassy Yankee Candle scents. And if you know someone that's a ca Yankee Candle lover, I feel like they make quite good little gift sets as well. Um, oh my god, that one sounds good. Fruit and spice pudding. See, this is my colour scheme. Glistening Christmas. Okay, back home. And I thought I'd just quickly show you the bits that I did get from B&M and Poundland. b and I ended up picking up the Lavish Unstoppables. Or Lenore Unstoppables in Lavish. Mm, favourite scent. And of course, a Nusa Flora, the Mandarin and Lime one. And then Poundland popped in and very seasonal thing that I got for this time of year. Cute little sign. I actually really like this. I've seen a few DIYs on this to like revamp it. I like it just as it is. And then I did go for the <laughs> seasonally appropriate kitchen towel because I'm a sucker for autumn, pumpkins, Halloween stuff. So, yeah. I did pick up some bin bags and some dishwasher tablets. And then I also got this, which we need for our kettle. <laughs> Uh, we need to descale our kettle, so I picked up one of those at just one pound from the land where everything is a pound, almost, almost everything. Anyway, that is everything that I picked up on this trip. If you do want to see any extras here and there, I always post on my Instagram home account, Freya Farrington Home. If you like the homeware bits, I, t I like to take snaps post them on my stories and then highlight them. So I've got loads of highlights of all the different stores that I go to. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, make sure you head over there and follow me and keep up to date with my daily shopping escapades. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out the link to Squarespace down below if you are currently interested in setting up your very own website. And don't forget to use the discount code, make use of that, take advantage of it, use it while I've got it and get money off your first purchase so thank you so much for watching thank you to squarespace for kindly sponsoring this video and i hope to see you all very soon in my next one bye guys